What's up you guys, it's your boy George. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to this new video. Um, I know it's been a while, uh, life has been crazy. But um, in this video, I wanted to showcase um, how I took the CompTIA Security Plus exam and passed it on the first try. And um, yeah, just wanna give you that breakdown. Uh, for full disclosure, um, I am somebody who is transitioning from a non-technical background to the tech field. And I am also a WGU IT student. So I'm currently um, in the phase of transitioning from a non-technical job to the tech field. And um, yeah, I just wanna showcase um, what I've been doing. I just got the Security Plus certification and this certification is not considered entry level, but um, with proper studying and proper st um, studying techniques and things of that nature, you can definitely pass the exam. Um, I am trying to break in uh, via help desk and long term, I am interested in cybersecurity as well as cloud security. So um, yeah, in this video, I wanna showcase what I use to take and pass the exam on the first try. So I have my phone here, I have my notes and I will break that down for you guys. So if you guys can, please uh, like the video, subscribe. Um, I'm using this channel to document my progress and um, hopefully this can definitely provide any type of guidance or, um, you know, just give motivation to people who are in the same position as me. And um, yeah, let's get it and go. So um, for the first resource that I use, um, the CompTIA Security Plus uh, certification is considered uh, one of the top certifications uh, to get, especially for those who are trying to break in. Um, the study materials that I use to pass the exam included the Jason Dion course and practice exam. I'll put the picture and a description of these resources all in the chat so you guys can definitely take a look at that and um, take it from there. So the first resource I used was the Jason Dion course and practice exam. Jason Dion, he's one of the highly respected uh, IT professionals in the game. Um, he does a lot of course and content on uh, CompTIA certification and a host of others too. So he's definitely a first resource I think everyone should use, especially if they're trying to get the certification. The second resource that I used was uh, Andrew uh, Ramdaya. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, he has practice exams on um, these certifications, CompTIA, and I believe a host of others. Um, I use his guidance to help me pa pass this exam. And um, I really love the resources because um, they're straight to the point, they're challenging, but they'll help you, you know, obtain the certification. I also use Josh McAdore's practice exams. If you guys don't know who uh, Josh McAdore is, he pretty much provides, he's a go in my opinion when it comes to like technical content because he gives out free game, no fluff. Um, his YouTube channel has a host of many resources, no, no, whether you're trying to go to the cloud, cybersecurity, or just general IT. So you could check out his platform guys. Again, that is Josh McAdore. Um, his, he has a website where it has all the practice exams for the Security Plus, Network Plus, A Plus, um, I believe I2, and even some cloud stuff too. So those of you guys who are trying to transition, please utilize him. Again, that's Josh McAdore's practice exams. Um, Andrew Ramdayal. Again, I hope I'm not butchering that. I apologize. Practice exams, as well as Jason Dion's course and practice exam. That's three resources so far. I have two more. Uh, my next uh, resource that I used to get the certification was the Professor Messer Security Plus. Um, he has a YouTube channel as well as his own website. And his YouTube channel is free. He has uh, Security Plus, Network Plus, just a whole of study material for free and high quality for you guys to use. And um, I find that very, very helpful because of the way he presents his visuals, the way he breaks things down, and he even has study guides that you can uh, purchase and um, you know take it from there. So yeah, Professor Messer, he's a great one. His, uh, his Security Plus 
information helped me. So I was able to pair his resource as well as the ones I listed before to help uh, help me pass and really understand the material. And the way this information is broken down is it's done in such a way that it forces you to study and not memorize, if that makes sense. Because you definitely don't want to be trying to memorize all this information. It's, it's not going to do you any good. All these resources help you understand what you need to pass, to, to pass the certification as well as understand the material and hopefully you can carry out to where we're trying to go. Um, my next one is the Get Certified, Get Ahead textbook. It's created by an author named uh, Daryl Gibson. You can find this on Amazon. I got it for about... Um, I think 30 bucks, 35 bucks on Amazon. Um, at the time of this recording, it's around 30 to 40 dollars, somewhere in that range. Um, I love this book because it's a great companion to all the other resources if you want to go deeper into the knowledge and it breaks down the information in such a way that you will understand. It takes a high complex, uh, 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 high complex information and breaks it down in such a way that. The everyday person, especially those who are trying to transition into the field, can understand. So check that out. It's the Get Certified, Get Ahead book by Daryl Gibson. It is on uh, Amazon. Um, you can go on Amazon.com, purchase it. Not too expensive. Um, and I'm sure there's, you know, his resources are on his website too. And um, yeah, that's what these are my resources. Uh, the Jason Dion course and practice exam. Andrew uh, Ram Dayal, practice exams, Professor Messer, Security Plus, uh, free videos on YouTube, and the Get Certified, Get Ahead book uh, by Daryl Gibson on Amazon. Again, if you guys maybe missed what I said, I will post all the links in my uh, in the description of this video so you guys can utilize and um, take it from there. The Security Plus certification. Uh, it's also a baseline certification for a lot of gov tech jobs. Um, I believe the listing is the DOD 8570 um, sort of uh, certification eligibility. Pretty much, in a nutshell, for a lot of government jobs, that is a baseline requirement. And you know, there's a host of other videos on there. I know there's a uh, 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 I say uh, a creator called Simone. She has her community and that I'm a part of, and um, you know you guys can check out her videos on that. And yeah, you know that's how I took and passed the certification, uh, the CompTIA Security Plus certification, and um, you know I got that certification. So I hope you guys took value in this video. I hope you guys um, learned a lot. Again, this certification is a part of my, uh, you know, my track to get into IT and further along the line, cybersecurity eventually. So um, I definitely had a lot of fun and challenging moments getting these certifications, but I know you guys can do it. Um, again, with all this being said, if you're going for certifications, please make sure that you pair that with hands-on uh, labs, projects you know YouTube and platforms like try hack me have uh, things that all of us can use to build upon our skills because in this day and age and in this tech market uh, just having a sort of certification and or degree by itself is not really going to help you unless you pair all that up with hands-on experience so that is my ongoing journey as well and I hope to continue to share that information with you guys and as you guys follow along with me on my journey. All right guys, so in regards to the Security Plus certification, the key thing is, and that's with any certification, you wanna make sure that every single day you are working on practice exams. These exams are not easy and they're definitely not cheap. Um, I think the average CompTIA certification cost is anywhere between 300 to four hundred dollars. It's right around the three. I think I paid three thirty or three forty. I don't remember the exact uh, price points, but the CompTIA certifications are still, you know, highly respected. But they are expensive. So the last thing you want to do is to pay all that money and fail. So the main takeaway from my perspective, having taken and passing the certification, is 
make sure that every single day you are working on practice exams. Um, don't feel discouraged if if you're scoring anywhere between 50s and 60s. That is perfectly fine. Trust me, everybody has done it. And um, the key thing is not to give up. When you do the practice exams, make sure that after each session, review all the different domains. There's about five domains for the uh, Security Plus exam. Review all of your weak points and go back and review the videos as well as the textbook to reinforce your knowledge and understanding of the material. It's going to be slow, but if you keep at it every single day, you will definitely uh, pass and you will see your, you know, obviously when you're taking the practice exams, you will see your scores improve. So again, don't feel discouraged. Practice, practice, practice the practice exams and the exam objectives will get you right and of course all the materials that are listed in this video will definitely help you um, eventually pass and um, I hope you guys um, you know take that and um, yeah just just keep at it and don't give up um, remember your goals and um, you'll do fine